That's how Argentinians talk. Mi mate! Most people think that in Argentina, people speak Spanish. Fernet. It tastes like medicine. The main rule in Argentina is there is no rules. Hola chicos, como andan? Last year I lived in Argentina for a couple of months and in today's video I wanted to tell you some of the things that I noticed while living in this beautiful country. Here is 10 facts about Argentina. Vamos muchachos! Numero uno, number one, the nature. Let's start with the fact that Argentina is absolutely stunning and also I'm going to take this off because it was just for the intro and it is way too hot. <laughs> Tengo mucho calor, por Dios. Ah, better. Anyway, it is a huge country and for this reason it has multiple kinds of nature and different climates. It has the southernmost city in the world, Ushuaia, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, which is in Patagonia where it will be cold pretty much all year round. It has a tundra climate and it has glaciers, penguins, and you can even go wheel watching there. But it also borders Brazil, Paraguay and Bolivia in the north where there's a humid tropical climate. I went to the Iguazu waterfalls on the border of Brazil and Argentina and I think this was the most beautiful nature I have ever seen in my life. It was absolutely breathtaking. Then there's Mendoza wine country, famed for its vineyards and of course the beautiful cities Buenos Aires and Córdoba and many many more places to visit in Argentina. Number two, the language. Most people think that in Argentina people speak Spanish. <laughs> Common mistake, they do not speak Spanish. They speak Argentinian. Now of course I'm kidding, they do speak Spanish. However, it is really different though. Even if you're from Spain or another Spanish-speaking country, you will have difficulties understanding the Spanish they speak in Argentina. I'm sure Spanish speakers from other countries than Argentina can confirm this. So if you are one of those, please let me know in the comments if you agree or not. Why is it so different? Couple of reasons. They pronounce things differently. For example, where a Spaniard or another Spanish speaker would say yo, yo hablo, and ya sé, an Argentinian would go Yo hablo and chasse. So the Y sound is different. In Spanish Spanish it's more like a Y sound and in Argentinian Spanish it's like a SH sound. Calle, calle, yo, yo. And if you are Argentinian, I know that I'm probably not doing it 100% right, but you get the point. Also, they still use the word vos. I'm not sure if I pronounce that right either, because it's with a V, but you know they do it like a B, so I don't know. Where in Spanish you would say Gracias a tu or gracias a usted. In Argentina, people say gracias a vos. Then they use a lot of slang. Now, every language and country has their own slang, but I would say in Argentina they use it way more often. So if you're not from there, you won't be able to tell what they mean when they say certain words. Che boludo, como andas? And then they talk fast. I lived in America for a while and I had some Mexican friends, some friends from Colombia, I met some Venezuelan people. They had one thing in common, they spoke in a way that I could kind of understand what they were saying, aka slow. Hola hermano, como estas? Hablo lento, eh? Puedes entender. Estupido, holandés. Argentinians? Hola hermano, como estas? Hablo más, más rápido, eh? Puedes entender nada. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like they make it as hard as possible for people to understand them. As if it wasn't enough that non-Spanish speakers couldn't understand. They were like, no, we want only Argentinians to understand Argentinians. So let's talk as fast as possible and use as much slang as we can. However, because all of this, and probably because of the Italian influence on the language, it does have a nice singy vibe to it. Even though it's hard to understand, I do really like it. Number three, the food and the drinks. Ooh la la mamacita. I loved the food in Argentina. There are so many things to talk about, so I actually might make another video about just the food in Argentina. Let me know in the comments if you want to see this video and don't forget to subscribe. If I do, you'll get a notification. Anyway, like I said, there is so much to be loved. Alfajores, jorepan, asado, milanesas, empanadas, Facturas, dulce de leche, lomito? Oh, lomito. And last but not least, locro. 
Why'd you have to ruin it, Argentina? All these amazing foods and then they ruin it by some kind of soup that seems to be made out of barf and two-month-old leftovers. Yuck. By the way, a little random fact, my ignorant ass thought that almost every Latin American country loved spicy food. Not so much in Argentina. If you put a tiny, tiny bit of black pepper into a meal, they'll turn red and start crying like they just ate a whole jalapeno. All right, so they also have two, that's for nerd. They have two drinks that they could basically make the national beverage. These are mate and fernet. Mate is sort of a tea, but different. They have these real typical cups, I don't know what to call them where they drink them out of. They put the mate leaves or whatever they're called into the cup, pour hot water and then drink it with a metal straw that I think sometimes it's actually attached to the cup. You see them everywhere. If you ask an Argentinian, hey, if you go to a deserted island, what will you take? If you could only take one thing, I am sure that 99% would go, mi mate. I don't know why I did that for this. That's how Argentinians talk, mi mate. No, but for real, they take mate serious. If you ever see one of those cups I'm talking about, again, I'm not sure what they're called, I'm sure they have a certain name, but if you ever see one of those, then guaranteed, that's an Argentinian. Funny fact, when I lived in Australia, there were a couple of beaches that were really popular amongst Argentinians, and you could really tell who was Argentinian because they were all sitting next to each other, sharing the mate, just going around the little cup thingy, so we were like, ah, those are Argentinians, those are Argentinians, yep, more Argentinians. Then that is Fernet, a alcoholic drink that is actually Italian. However, I never saw it before until I went to Argentina, not even in Italy. I get why though, because it had one thing in common with Locro. It's disgusting. It tastes like medicine, you know, the cough syrup kind of stuff, and not the cough syrup kind of stuff they give to children which tastes like licorice, no, the gross one. When I told them my opinion that I thought it was tasting like medicine, they actually said, well, it is medicine. They used to give it to people with stomach and bowel problems. Yeah. Anyway, they absolutely love Fernet. If you go to a house party there, then you'll see it all the time. Everybody's holding a big mug or a big cup and they just keep filling it up with Fernet and Coke. Fernet Coke. And yeah, you'll get really drunk easily because you just keep filling it up and you have no idea how much you're actually drinking. You just keep going and going and going until you pass out and fucking, yeah. Number cuatro, number four, the traffic. Okay, so basically the main rule in Argentina is there is no rules. Argentina has a lot of Italian influences, which you see in the architecture, the food, the language, as I mentioned before. But I guess they also took their driving skills with them to Argentina. Sorry Italians, no disrespect. I love y'all, I love Italy, but you guys drive like you're in a James Bond movie. Bro, I've seen things, okay? I've seen a guy driving a car with a baby on his shoulder, not even buckled, just going <gasps> I've seen four guys on one moped, I've seen cyclists on the highway with cars blazing past them 120 kilometers an hour. I've seen cars of which I have no idea how they were still driving in the first place, fucking duct tape together. Shit is crazy, nobody cares. Also the town I was living in, Villa Carlos Paz, had no traffic lights for pedestrians. Which make me wonder, how do deaf and blind people cross the road? Well, I didn't see any. I guess they were all killed in traffic accidents. Número cinco, number five. The people. My experience was that Argentinians are really welcoming and warm people. They greet each other by hugging each other and one kiss on the cheek. Even men do this, although I was told that this was relatively new because they are trying to get rid of the masculine culture in Argentina, which I would say is still pretty big. I think it's a nice way to greet each other, although sometimes when you were entering a party, you had to hug and kiss everyone at the party. Argentina, what's the maximum? Figure it out. 
let's say 10 or something, okay? If it's a group more than 10 people, you should just be allowed to just go, Hola amigos, hola, estoy in the building, estoy in the building, estoy aquí, you. Yeah, I think I might be too Dutch. Um, even though I liked it, as I said, they're really welcoming, really friendly, open people. But sometimes it was just a little too much. <coughs> Sorry if all of a sudden I look like I was choking. I was. <clears throat> Don't know what happened, but I've been coughing for half an hour. Let's continue the video. <clears throat> Every single time something happens when I'm recording. Hey, a cat. Of course, now a cat comes along. Hey, cat, 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 cat. Wanna be in the video? Wanna be in the video? Well, you can't see him, so let's just continue. He's right here. Where was I? I think I was saying that they were very open, friendly people, which they are, but sometimes it's too much. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the cat first because this is making noise. Kuru you making noise. Anyhow, I was saying sometimes for me it was a little too much because, for example, when I entered the gym, you had to go, Hola, hola, como andas? Si, sí, si, sí, bien, bien. Y usted, si, sí. gracias, gracias, gracias vos, si, sí, sí. hey, you. And even when you left, ciao guys, ciao, ciao to everyone. You have to greet everyone every single time. Hey, come on, come on, hermano, tranquilo, it's taking so much time, leave me alone. Yeah, I had to get used to that. Also, the people in Argentina have somewhat of a different fashion style, especially the ladies. Now, I am far from a fashionista, okay? But there were a couple of things that I noticed. Women tend to dress a little more feminine, and use, I don't know how to say this, makeup in a different way. Not more or something like that, but just different. Yeah, as you can see, I have zero knowledge on the subject makeup, so I don't know what they do, but it's just a little different than European women. They also have a thing for huge fucking plateau shoes, which I'm gonna show here if I can find a nice example. Anyway, I don't really know why, because I believe the Argentinians are the tallest among the South Americans, so they don't really need the 30 extra centimeters. They should give those to Peruvians. <laughs> they need them. And with men, I noticed two things. One, a lot of men, for some reason, have face tattoos. Now, a lot might be an exaggeration, but definitely more than you'll see in Europe or Australia or in America, there's a lot going on in Argentina. I love face tattoos. Not a fan. Also, way more men wear earrings that I'm wearing right now with a little hang thingy on it. I actually think I might have picked it up there. What's up guys, sorry for interrupting this video, but when I was editing I found out I had way too much footage and I was never gonna make the 15 minute that YouTube allows you for one video, so I decided to split it up in two parts. This was part one. If you want to see the rest of the video, click over there and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one. Ciao amigos. I probably have to wait some seconds so you have time to click on it actually, so I'm just gonna be up. Ooh, ooh, ooh yeah. See you there guys.